Hey, it's Moa. If you're interested in automotive engineering but don't know which school to pick, watch this entire video to have a better understanding about the automotive industry and how to choose the right school for you. Here's a quick overview of the automotive industry. For some, myself included, a few years ago, we just think of OEMs like Honda, Ford, Toyota, GM to be the automotive industry. Now, they are within the industry, but this is just a small piece of the pie. For some who don't know, automotive encompasses motorsports racing, NASCAR, Formula One, MotoGP, the defense industry, heavy medium duty trucking like Freightliner, Caterpillar, and suppliers, for example, Bosch, NGK, Asens. Suppliers play a huge role in the automotive industry. Also, EV is starting to make a huge push, so everything in that sector is in the automotive industry as well. This sector of engineering is large, and there are some fields I miss, but there's so much potential and movement throughout the automotive industry if you decide to get in this field. Now, let me start off by saying I did not get an automotive engineering degree. I got my bachelor's in mechanical engineering with a concentration in motorsports. I believe this would be the best option if you want to get in the automotive industry, and let me explain why. If you get a generic mechanical engineering degree, but take electives that are catered towards automotive, you can still branch out into other areas of engineering. You aren't stuck in automotive engineering if you get a mechanical engineering degree. And maybe, you know, later down the road, when you've been in the automotive industry for a while, you want to get into the energy sector, the infrastructure sector, or the aerospace sector. You have a better chance going into different fields later down your career path if you have a mechanical engineering degree. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy being in the automotive industry and I see a lot of cool things happening right now. But if I ever wanted to, I could go into something else a little easier than someone with a purely automotive engineering degree. You still need to look out for your future later down the road. But I will say from my experience, if a company wants a solar energy engineer, it's going to be hard to get a job if you aren't already in that field. So me saying, get your mechanical engineering degree and you can hop from one sector to the next, it's not foolproof. It is still hard to move around and it, it just may be a little easier with a generic mechanical engineering degree from an ABET accredited school. And uh, no matter what school you go to, just make sure your university is accredited. Now there is nothing wrong with getting an automotive engineering degree. If you are set on going into the automotive industry and want to retire in that field, go for it. If you know for a fact that this is where you want to be for the rest of your career, it will be better to specialize in automotive and grow your career that way. And within automotive, there are many fields that, to study. You have engines, aerodynamics, plastic parts design, body panels, structures, noise and vibration, materials, electrical components now. It depends on you and where you wanna study. Now with all that said, I would still go for a mechanical engineering with a concentration in motorsports or automotive or something similar to that. So now on to picking your school. Here are a few tips I wish I knew when choosing my school. So. After this advice, you'll have a better platform to start off with than when I did for choosing my school for mechanical engineering. Now you could just search best automotive engineering schools on Google and you'll get a list of schools that may be a good fit for you. But you should know of other ways of choosing a school for automotive engineering. Let's go to FSA competition results to see the rankings of schools that participated. A lot of OEMs, Honda for example, want to see you have some FSA or Baja experience. You can use these clubs to get real world engineering experience for example, design systems, sourcing parts and suppliers, fabricating, testing, revising, documentation. These are great clubs that will give you real engineering experience. And if you go to a highly ranked school, you may have a better chance at working at the desired company you want to because of the school's track record. Now go through the results of previous years and you can see which schools are consistent with their FSA club. This is a good sign. It means they have an excellent track record and a good work ethic from the students. See which schools have a, a good program. Go to the websites and do some research to find out if it's interesting to you. Do they have a dedicated automotive engineering program or is it a mechanical engineering program with a concentration in automotive? Get a few of these schools in mind and go visit them. It can be completely different once you get on campus and you could easily change your mind. Here's an added bonus. If the school you want to go to is in-state, that's even better for you. In-state tuition is much better for most public schools, but it's completely up to you where you want to go. Also. If you wanted to go to school that's ranked low, you can still make it in the automotive industry. My university ranked low, but I still managed to get in the automotive industry. I chose my school because the motorsports program it offered and I wanted to stay close to home. So it really depends on how you play the cards you're given. You may get accepted to a top tier engineering school. That's the hand you've been dealt. It's up to you to play it well. My hand was different and I made it work. So my point is you have control over your future. 
So if you don't get into the top tier school, it's okay, you can still make it in the end. Quick sidebar, if you're finding value in the video so far, comment down below regarding any question you have about engineering college, and I'll get back to you at the best of my abilities. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in the content I produce. The second suggestion on picking a university is to research what company you want to work for and maybe go to the university that's close to that company. You don't have to do this, but it's worth considering. Though to save money, you can always intern for your desired company during the summer or co-op during your semester rotations. You don't have to move out of state to study automotive engineering. It may just help you if you decide to move out of state for school. For example, if you wanted to work for R&D department at Honda, maybe go to Ohio State University. If you want to work for a Toyota R&D, maybe go to Michigan State. I use Toyota and Honda because these two are, in my opinion, the best car OEMs to work for and they have facilities all across America. So do your research on which locations best interest you. If you want to work for NASCAR, maybe go to UNC Charlotte. Go to a university that has close proximity to the company that you have your sights on. A similar strategy can be used for suppliers in the automotive industry. Think about tire companies, Yokohama, Michelin, Continental. Cars need tires. Michelin's U.S. headquarters is in Greenville, South Carolina. Don't just think about cars or truck manufacturers. Consider suppliers. ZF Group makes a lot of transmissions for cars. Continental Michelin don't just make tires. They make other parts for automotive manufacturers. Look up what suppliers are used heavily in the automotive industry and see if you want to be a part of the supplying world. Also kind of off topic, but not really. Lawn care is technically in the automotive industry. Husqvarna's headquarters is in Charlotte. They do some pretty cool stuff with small engines, but basically if it has a motor, drive shaft, axles, wheels, it's safe to assume it's in the automotive industry. Now these are just some tips that can help you make your decision on which school to go to, but it's up to you to decide what's best for yourself. But once you get into engineering, it will be a journey. Engineering isn't easy, and, but nothing good in life comes easy. So continue forward on your track, even if you want to quit, because there are moments when I ask myself if it's worth it, and it is worth it in the end. If you did have academic issues in high school, I talked about community college and why I believe it's better to go there first and then transfer to your desired university in my previous video. So check that out if that interests you. I hope you guys found value in this video. Subscribe, hit the like button if you want more content similar to this. Again, ask any questions regarding engineering and college. I'll get back to your comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.